We continue our week-long series, The Better Half, profiling the significant others of prominent island icons. And this morning, we feature the wife of Hawaii's most popular big league brother. This St. Anthony grad is a two-time All-Star, three-time Golden Glove winner, Gold Glove winner, and a and won a World Series title when he was with the Phillies. And joining us this morning via Skype is Melissa Victorino, wife of Major League outfielder Shane Victorino. Good morning to you, Melissa. Hi. Good morning. It's early there, huh? <laughs> a little, a little. A little. But good seeing you. Good speaking with you. Um, well, let's get right to our questions. You know, first of all, how did you and Shane meet? Well, we met here in Vegas. He was playing in the AAA for the Dodgers at the time back in 2004. And I had taken uh, my oldest son, Keenan, to a game for a meet and greet. And that's where we met. It was on Memorial Day of 2004. And was it love at first sight, Melissa? Well, I wouldn't say love at first sight. <laughs> we, we did go to lunch the very next day. And uh, we had a great lunch. And we've pretty much been together ever since. Well, tell us, you know, what is it like to be the wife of a professional athlete? I'm guessing you don't see Shane for a good portion of the year. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we try to, you know, we try to see each other as much as we can. Um, our role, since actually we've been together, is try to not to go longer than three weeks. So um, three weeks is about our max that we'll go without seeing each other. So we just get the calendar out uh, for the whole year. Um, probably about November, the, the season calendar comes out, and we just sit down and break it down to, you know, to where we can make it work. You know, a lot of people saw the movie Moneyball, Melissa, and we saw how the baseball players had to just move in a split second, and their families had to yeah. go. And I know that the two yeah. of you are based in Las Vegas. So how, how do you deal with kind of the unknown in terms of baseball? Well, you know, it is good to uh, have a home base, as what we call it, in Las Vegas. So there at least is some sort of foundation for us and uh, a sense of normality and a place for us to call home and come home to uh, in situations like that. But, you know, it, it is you just pack up and you move at a drop of a dime. I mean, Shane didn't even have time to say goodbye to any friends that he had made over the course of the past eight years in Philly. So... It, you know, it's just get on the plane. We were in D.C. when he got traded, and, I mean, within a matter of two hours, we were calling for a car to come get us, to bring us to our house in Philly for him to pack a suitcase and get on a plane that night. Wow, that's really hard to believe. And I'm guessing that's it's hard with children, too, and you have two, correct? Yes. Well, we have three. Three. It's, that's it's, right, yeah, three. It's we just hard. had another one. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, Thank you. Thank God for our, our kids. They're, you know, very adaptable. They're very, you know, easygoing. They just kind of go with the flow and adjust, you know, really good. So, I mean, I'm super thankful for that. And, you know, it does make it hard when you have the kids. I mean, within a 24-hour period, you have to, you know, figure out where you're going to live in a new city that you're very unfamiliar with, you know, um, my little one, my middle one just started kindergarten, so if we didn't have a home base, it would be where's my daughter going to be going to school. And in Shane's situation, you know, um, we didn't even know how long we would be in L.A. Um, with, you know, him, his contract being done at the end of the season. So it's just hard to, you know, get too settled anywhere. Well, the, despite having to move and everything, I know that your hearts are in Hawaii and your hearts are in Philadelphia. You have the Shane Victorino Foundation, which you manage. Oh, how important is it to you to give back to the community? Oh, it's very important. You know, it's something that Shane and I started really early, um, you know, before his career even took off with volunteering and, you know, giving back whatever we could, whether it be financially or with, with our time. Um, we just know how how important it is to, you know, help others, whether they, you know, just need help, period, or if they just need financial help. It's just important to give back to a community. Well, we, all, we know that uh, Shane has a lot of fans here in Hawaii, but tell us what he's like real fast at home, off the field. You don't talk in baseball stats all the time, right? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think our conversations ever consist of baseball, um, you know. We, our kids keep us so busy. We were just talking about it the other day that we feel sometimes our off season is busier than the baseball season. I mean, if you can imagine that, I, our calendars from the time. I mean, I just got my kids out the door to school, and 
you know, barely had time to brush my hair and my teeth. Um, and, at, and then he just went out the door to go train. He started his training early this year. So he just, uh, so, you know, the first couple hours is, of his day is just, you know, getting training done. Um, we had parent teacher conferences yesterday. Uh, he'll come home, he'll put the baby down for a nap. He'll, you know, take the baby out on his bike and, you know, he's just a normal, normal guy, a normal dad, a normal husband. Um, you know, we have my son's football game tonight, so we'll be headed over there. And, you know, we did the trick or treating the other night and walked around neighborhoods and well, knocked Melissa, on the store and got candy. <laughs> it sounds like you are a super mom and you two are so busy. So we really appreciate your time this morning. It's great to chat with you and, and get the inside, the insider scoops on baseball and your lives together. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me on. Thanks. Thank, thank you. you, Melissa. Good chatting with you. Take care. Okay, bye bye. Bye. And if you'd like to see this interview again, you can go to the top video section of our website, KITV.com. We'll be right back.